Here's a little quotient rule example for those of you who requested that. The way that I remember quotient rule, and it's tougher to remember quotient rule than it is product rule because there's a minus in between, so it actually matters which one you do first. I like to do top over bottom. I mean, T for top and B for bottom. The derivative of the top happens first. Remember that. Derivative of the top times bottom. Then subtract derivative of the bottom times the top. The bottom squared goes in the new bottom, but uh, you'll probably remember that. Let's just do this one. We're looking for, if we're looking for the derivative of a quotient, the first thing we do is take the derivative of the top. Now the top is a polynomial here. Bring the two down, it becomes eight x to the one, and this becomes zero because the derivative of a whole number is zero. So that's the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the derivative of the bottom, derivative of the bottom here is simply two because the x drops off when you take the derivative times the top, which is four x squared minus three, unchanged. All over whatever the bottom was squared. Ah, it's pretty easy. Now, you've officially taken the derivative and this is technically what it is, but your teacher's probably gonna want you to clean this up a little bit especially when it's just polynomials like this, you know what 8x multiplied into this bracket is. And you can multiply two into this bracket and collect all the like terms in the top. So don't be lazy, just do it. 16x squared, we multiply that there, plus 8x. Now we have minus two times that, which is minus 8x squared, and minus two times that, which is plus six all over the bottom, which I like leaving factored to be completely honest. Sometimes I'll get a little cancellation, sometimes not. And when I clean up what's on top here, I get just eight X squared plus eight X plus six, all over two X plus one squared. Oh, I could factor that a little more. I can pull out a two, that gives me four X squared plus four x plus three, hope you like factoring. All over two x plus one, all squared. Uh, can I factor this? I need two numbers that multiply to positive 12 and add to positive four. Uh, no, I don't, think I, I don't think those numbers exist. Well, then that's as much as I can clean it up. And you must admit that that looks a little bit cleaner than this monstrosity that was in the numerator before, right? That's not the point though. The point of this video was to show you that the quotient rule is derivative of the top first. Derivative of the top times bottom minus derivative of the bottom times top all over bottom squared. Ah uh, yeah, super simple for polynomials. It's just as easy for anything else as long as you know how to take basic derivatives. Just do it, be happy, enjoy life, and best of luck.